Okay, so I'm sure that you saw this one coming. This is of course my comparison video of the all new 2022 Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 Lite to of course the Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 FE. I know a bunch of you guys are out there trying to figure out which one to buy out of these two. So let's go ahead and jump in. Now let's start off from the top right, starting off with the price breakdown. As of now, the 2022 Galaxy Tab S6 Lite should run you about $350. And this guy here will run you about $530 for the regular price, right? That's the regular price. Now, if you were on the Samsung website right now, you will probably notice that as of now, the Galaxy Tab S7 FE is going for about $450. And that includes an $80 official Samsung case, right? So now let's go ahead and talk design here, starting with the 2022 Tab S6 Lite here. It has that same modern look, right? So it's that same design we find in the original model, meaning you get that very nice looking face of the tablet with a uniform bezel going around it. So a very modern look on the face of the tablet, overall look of the tablet. It's very modern, it's sleek, it's super portable. Again, I just love this because it's so very portable, probably because I have huge hands, but it is a very portable tablet at 10.4 inches there. So we have the same usual suspect, right? So power button, volume rocker. We have a headphone jack, which we don't have on the Tab S7 FE, right? Dual speaker setup here, tuned by AKG. You can sound very, very good there. We have some mics going around. We have an SD card slot for the micro SD card. We have a USB USB Type-C port there. Unfortunately, it does not push out video signal, which of course we find here. So that's pretty much gonna be it in terms of physical features on the 2022, on the new 2022 Tab S6 Lite here. In terms of physical features, on of course the Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 FE, we have usual suspects, right? Power button, volume rocker. We do not, as I mentioned earlier, we do not have a headphone jack. We have mics all around there, very nice. And we have a USB Type-C port that actually pushes out video signal. Signal. That is one of the major points that the Tab S7 FE here is going to score over the Galaxy Tab S6 like there. We have a dual setup speaker here also, of course, tuned by AKG as well. As you can see at the bottom there, it says tuned by AKG. The sound quality is just as crisp as you would find on the Tab S6 Lite here, but it is louder. That's very, very nice to see. You will also see that, you know, with the bezel that you, thin bezel that you see around the tablet, the selfie camera is located exactly where it's supposed to be, right? On the long side of the tablet here in the middle, because everyone that is face calling, video calling, all that stuff, you hold your tablet this way and you'll be able to communicate with the person. Unfortunately, on the Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 Lite here, it is still located at the top, so you would have to hold it in portrait mode. The next thing we have here is we have some pins there for the official keyboard that goes with this tablet. Now, still sticking to just the hardware and design part of it, on the Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 Lite here, you have an eight megapixel camera on the back there. Same deal here. The Tab S7 FE also does have that same eight megapixel main camera. What you have there, it looks like a flash, but actually is not the flash. So you just have a single camera there on the front face and you have a five megapixel camera, front facing camera, and you also have a five megapixel front facing camera. In terms of quality, eh, decent quality, right? Nothing really amazing, nothing particularly amazing. When using either one of these tablets is for, if it is for productivity, it's, you know, really nice to use them to scan documents and things like that using that main camera. No problem there for sure. Now, as far as the front camera, the selfie camera, five megapixel, don't expect it to be super impressive as long as I always give this advice, right? Just make sure that everything is well lit so that people can really see you. Otherwise you might get a lot of noise. So it's always a good idea to make sure that it's well lit wherever you are getting ready to make a video call. Now let's go ahead and talk display real quick here. The Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 FE is boasting a 12.4 inches display. So it's a very large display here and it is a TFT display. It's a nice TFT display and it is one of the biggest appeals of the Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 FE here. It's just how large it is. Now, don't mind me holding it with one hand. It is actually a very large display. The resolution here is 1600 by 2560. Picture quality, very nice. PPI, it's actually a lot, it's actually more PPI dense than the Tab S6 Lite, right? Because here you have 1200 by 2000 for the resolution and the display here is 10.4 and I believe the PPI here is 224, I wanna say, versus 240 something over here. So picture quality, definitely sharper here than it is here in terms of just movie watching and playing games and things like that. This is 
much better because it's a larger display, right? But it's a lot more awkward to hold if you were to play games here, right? This one is better when holding to play games. But if you're just watching videos and things like that, this is much better in my humble opinion. And both displays, of course, are laminated. So both are nice to use when watching movies or, you know, playing games and things like that. But since we're comparing both of these, this is definitely nicer than this one. And by the way, if this is your first time visiting, welcome to the channel. Of course, I'm certainly hoping that you are enjoying the content, which if you are, please do me a favor, hit both the like and the subscribe button there. I truly appreciate it. Now let's go ahead and talk performance here. What you have with the 2022 Tab S6 Lite here is a Snapdragon chipset, right? As opposed to the Exynos chip we had on the previous model here. So Snapdragon 720G performance here is actually excellent. On here, what you have is a Snapdragon 778G, right? Performance, fantastic performance, of course. When it comes down to light, to medium, to heavy tasks, very, very good tablets, right? So four gigs of RAM here, four gigs of RAM here, 64 gigs of internal storage, 64 gigs of internal storage as well, and they are both expandable at up to one terabyte in, you know, either case, right? But again, going back to performance, they perform very well, and you will be surprised by this. And this, by the way, is the Wi-Fi model, right? So 778 is the Wi-Fi model, and the LTE or the 5G model of the Tab S7 FE here is going to be boasting a Snapdragon 750G. Now, when it comes down to that performance, I'm gonna say something that will shock you. The difference, when it comes down to performance between this one and the Tab S7 FE is marginal, like very marginal, like performance is almost the same, believe it or not. At least that's been the case in my testing, right? So they are extremely close, despite this being a 720G and this one being a 778, Snapdragon 778. I'm just saying it's a lot closer than you would imagine. It actually took me by surprise. And I'm talking high productivity things, heavy apps, heavy files, opening and all that stuff. This definitely will get there first, but this one will be right there with it, like right next to it. And it's it was very, very nice to see. When it comes down to even GPU performance, in terms of just editing and rendering videos, besides user experience being better on the Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 FE because it's a larger tablet, right? So you're a lot more comfortable playing with it and you know editing videos on it. Besides that whole user experience, when it comes down to just like rendering videos and performance and how long it took to you know render videos, this was right behind it. It definitely got there first, as I mentioned, but the Tab S6 Lite was right next to it. Now they both are running Android 12 and what you have here is one UI sitting on top of it. Again, with multitasking, you know, multitasking experience is better on the Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 FE simply because it's the larger tablet, right? Especially when you're using like that Samsung DeX and the fact that you do have an official keyboard, you know, that comes with it. You can just snap that in, you know, get your Samsung DeX going and you are pretty much using something that is pretty close to a laptop. Now I'm not gonna say it's really that close to a laptop, but you know, it gives you that UI, that interface that is similar to that of a laptop. So something to consider there. You can do the same with the 2022 Galaxy Tab S6 Lite here, but again, the user experience is slightly different, especially if you're playing with them side by side, shifting from this to the smaller display, you will definitely feel the difference. But again, multitasking, all that good stuff, it flows very well on here as well. Now, when it comes down to battery, the Galaxy Tab S7 FE here has a larger battery, so, you know, no surprises there, right? So it definitely lasts longer than this guy here. This one is still brand new, but this one still lasts longer than what you have here. I believe the battery here is the same as what you had on the Tab S7 plus which was 10,090 milliamp as opposed to 7,040 milliamp here. So gigantic battery, despite performance and all that stuff, it still lasts longer than this. Now, the last point we're gonna touch up here, of course, before closing out the video is going to be the S Pen. So let's go ahead and just brush over that really quick. Both tablets come accompanied with a Samsung S Pen, right? They both work very, very well, just like you would expect from a regular Samsung S Pen from any of the other Samsung tablets that support the S Pen. And these are, of course, not active pencils, so no need to charge. They work right out of the box there, and they do an excellent job at taking down notes or drawing or cropping, writing animated messages and so forth. Now, let me just go ahead and stop right here and just give you my take. The Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 FE, at first glance, just seems to be so much more powerful than the, you know, 2022 Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 Lite. 
Probably because you look at it and you just think, oh, it's a small tablet, right? And you also remember that the old one had the Exynos, you know, 9611. So you're just thinking, ah, you know, can't really keep up with this guy. But it is very impressive. It's not the same. It's not better than the Tab S7 FE. But the Tab S7 FE is not that much better in terms of performance. Definitely better, but you know, pretty marginal there, right? Now, with that being said, it doesn't mean that, well, you should go ahead and pick up this. As I've said, and I'm not sure how many times I've said it so far, before going to buy either one of these tablets, make sure that you've done your homework, that you figured out what you wanna do with a tablet. Now, if you needed to just do a blind, you know, you needed to make a choice just blindly, I would say just go ahead and grab the Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 FE. Now, if Samsung always has deals. So if you check out the Samsung website, you will see that, you know, they have Tab S7 FE, Tab S7 in deal. So make sure to check out those first. If you can't find a deal on the better tablets in terms of performance and size and all that good stuff, then you can come back to this. Now, to those of you who are artists and just looking for something, you know, just large, obviously there's even no question about it. You would just have to go for the larger 12.2 inches Type S7 FE here now. To those of you looking for something that is very portable, not bulky, and I can still offer you something in something really close to this one in terms of performance, this guy here will be the one to go for. Or if you are just nostalgic and just, you just like the old look, right? The Tab S6 Lite that we had, the 2020 Tab S6 Lite, then you should go ahead and grab this one. That's just my take. But anyway, let me know which your questions in the comment section. I will drop some links in the description for you to check out what the latest deals, what the best prices are currently on either one of these or even the new lineup along with some Lenovo tablets. So make sure to check out those links. Make sure to check out other videos that I've made on tablets if you happen to be in the market for a tablet right now. I've made a bunch of videos covering a whole range of tablets. I'm going to catch you in the comment section. I'm also going to catch you in the next video and up until that next video. Of course, don't forget to like, subscribe, share the video, and I'll catch you in that next video. Up until then, stay safe out there.